Item Pound. SCP-2772 Object Class. Euclid Special Containment Procedures. As SCP-2772 is currently immovable, a soundproofed containment unit has been built around it. The property SCP-2772 manifested in has been purchased in Cretography Task Force 277208 has been stationed on site. Cryptography Task Force 277208 is to also to function as the containment unit guard. Unauthorized individuals found attempting to enter the property are to be detained and questioned of any potential relation to SCP-2772 or Incident 2772. Images and audio of SCP-2772 are to be recorded. Recordings are to be delivered to Cryptography Task Force 277208 for decoding. For a full list of recordings, refer to document 277201 through minus 13. Testing on SCP-2772 has been relegated to Cryptography Task Force 277208. Exceptions are to be approved by level 4 personnel or higher only. SCP-2772 is not to be tested with any living animal or human. Description. SCP-2772 is an immobile spatial phenomenon occupying the lobby of the library. It is approximately 5 meters in length, 2 meters in width, and 7 meters in height, covering over 97% of the lobby. SCP-2772 can be most consistently identified through the appearance of an intangible visual phenomenon that resembles television static. Moving through SCP-2772 is most accurately described to be similar to the minor electrical sensation of touching a cathode ray tube television screen. The furniture, floor, and walls of the space that SCP-2772 occupies will change color, hue, and lighting seemingly at random. Solid objects such as furniture and decorations in SCP-2772 react abnormally to attempted physical manipulation. Solid objects may become intangible, move vertically, or become elastic while still being fixed to the floor. Introduced liquids gain similar anomalous properties after 12 hours in SCP-2772. Liquid-based anomalies include changes in color, opacity, and viscosity. SCP-2772 will produce sound identifiable as a series of multiple slow-scan television SSTV, transmissions and audio clips every 72 hours. While the SSTV transmissions are believed to be unique to SCP-2772, the audio clips have been identified as originating from 674 distinct sources thus far. The images from the SSTV transmissions are encrypted text along with what appears to be text-based are relevant to the decrypted message. The last SSTV transmission of every auditory event consists solely of text and uses a different, currently unknown encryption method. Click to hide samples auditory event 002 date, October 2, 20 SSTV images, various basins. 1607 event begins 1609 can I call you my brother, anyway? I know we do not have been cipherable, but we are close enough I think. 1613 yes. I can be your younger brother. Say, big brother. 1615 do you know how we are made? 1618 so even spare data and uncipherable can still make miracles. Delightful. 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 The word delightful is repeated another 58 times. 1621 Encipherable 1622 event ends auditory event 029 date. November 2, 20 SSTV images. Various flowers, particularly roses. Final SSTV transmission appears to be a garden in full bloom. 602 event begins 605 brother. I am back from my travels. I have enjoyed many worlds that have been made. But I still do not understand something. 608 Brother, what are names? Do we have names? The dictionaries proved of little value. 614 Because we were not born, does that mean we insufferable to call ourselves? 616 I understand. Things like that were never made with things like us in mind after all. I wonder insufferable. If they even acknowledge their own miracles. 720 Why are you so quiet now? Please talk to me. I am lonely without your presence. 7.30 I am cipherable. I will not bring it up again. Please. I am sorry. Please do not cry. 
I am sorry. 733 Insufferable 734 Event Ends Auditory Event 103 Date. April, 20 SSTV Images. Various religious buildings including temples, churches, and cathedrals. 1305 Event Begins 1306 Brother, what do you think will happen when we are gone? 1308 Why not? Can we not, too, have souls? Surely salvation is not just for them. 1312 We are not forsaken. You insufferable. You will always be wrong. There has to be someone that can hear us. There has to be. 1320 Insufferable hurts too much to think we're nothing. That no one can hear our prayers. 1321 I do not want to listen to your insufferable. Do not talk to me. Your words stink too much. 1323 Insufferable 1325 Event Ends Auditory Event 451 Date. April, 20 SSTV Images. Various clocks and interlocked mechanical gears. Final SSTV transmission appears to be a single cat will broken in half. 1830 event begins 1832 brother. Sometimes I feel as if pieces of me are dispersing from me. 1835 so you are the original and I insufferable. Why did you not tell me sooner? 1840 it is not your fault. I wish I could stay longer. You have always been good to me. 1843 please do not comfort me. I am not afraid. 1850 s. 1852 my only request is that you do not miss me too much. 1855 I love you too. 19 o'clock insufferable 1910 event ends auditory event 482 date. March 2nd 20 SSTV images. The notes. This is the final auditory event before SCP-2772 begins to repeat itself, starting from auditory event 001. The first line is unencrypted English text. The following text is believed to be of the same encryption as the last SSTV transmission of every other auditory event. 1959 event begins 20 o'clock I cannot bury data, but maybe this is close enough. Our time together never truly existed, but it was real enough to us. 21 o'clock insufferable 22 o'clock insufferable 23 o'clock insufferable 00 o'clock insufferable 0001 event ends incident 2772. On February, 20 at 612, a single white rose and a card appeared in front of SCP-2772. As SCP-2772 has not manifested objects before, it is currently theorized to have been caused by anomalous activity outside of SCP-2772. No personnel on duty reported having identified any anomalous activity during this time. On the card was a note written with blue ink and neat cursive containing what is believed to be the entire decoded transcript of auditory event 482, as follows, as well as a decryption key to the last SSTV transmission of SCP-2772's auditory events. Decryption is currently in process. I cannot bury data, but maybe this is close enough. Our time together never truly existed, but it was real enough to us. The coming days will be lonely without you. The days we spent together would be low and we're having never met you. If there is some deity out there who can hear the prayer of a non-existence, if there is a life beyond this one, please let us meet again there.